here we are for Veterans Race 2. Lining up on pole position for this, our winner of Veterans Race 1, Martin Cocaine. Alan Brooks comes in in second place. Craig Willits is lined up in third with Richard Rice in fourth. Row three on the grid. Steve Booth came second in race number one. He's lined up fifth alongside Mark Evans, who should do well here. Barry Prue is in seventh place, along with Simon Chambers in eighth. Ninth goes to Dean Bednarek, and tenth is Steve Allen. Eleventh and twelfth, Juden Gromit, back from his broken leg in eleventh, and Howard Taylor in twelfth position. Andy Williams, probably not the famous one, in thirteenth position. And fourteenth, Joseph O'Neill. 15th goes to Garrett Carter, and 16th is Pete Forsyth. Down in 17th, we have John Pearson, and lining up behind him is Jeff Mills. Mark Hancock goes in 19th, alongside Paul Ward, who's 20th. 21st, Carl Williamson, and 22nd, James Mostica. 23rd is Roy Marsden, and Stephen Picard lines up in 24th. 25th is Wayne Chaplin, Dave Smith 26th, and 27th is Neil Turner. Good turnout as ever from the pit bike veterans, and uh, thank you very much to the sponsors of this class, Gloucester Bike Specialists. So we're getting ready then for the second race for the veterans here today. Can anyone deal with the pace of Martin Cocaine? He absolutely took off in the first race and uh, nobody nobody in this field could match him very different conditions though for this second race of the day for uh, the vets hard to look beyond martin cocaine here he uh, was very impressive in the first of the veterans races he's lining up there First place, black suit and black with a little bit of green on his helmet. Alongside him, Alan Brooks, who we spoke to earlier. Unlucky to miss out on second place earlier. The man with the green flag raises it and we are racing. Good start from our pulse hitter. Alan Brooks drops a couple of places, but Martin Cocaine does appear to hold his lead into the first few corners. Most of the pack getting away well. These veterans know how to start a race. Coming up into the hill section now. It is indeed Martin Cocaine, who's got a bit of a gap as well. Just after these first few corners, he really is in a league of his own out there. Alan Brooks looks to have recovered into third place. And is that Steve Booth in behind him? In fourth, can't quite tell who second is at the minute. I'm not able to get a number off that plate. No, not got the shot foot there. But all of them filing through uniformly. Yeah, very good start for the veterans once again. To be expected from a riders of such experience as uh, I think that's Alan Brooks there uh, sparks coming off the uh, the knee pads there a good start for Alan he held on to second place for a very long time in race one cheered on by his two boys from trackside who we saw earlier in the juniors but it's yes Martin Cocaine leading Richard Rice second and uh, yeah, you can see the sparks there. Great stuff to see off uh, Alan Brooks there. So Alan still third, Steve Booth in fourth, Mark Evans fifth, Craig Willits in sixth. There's your leader though, and my goodness me, already one and a half seconds clear, but look at this. Richard Rice, who had a, you know, an incident in his first race, has had a really good start here in second place. Brooks fighting with Booth there, side by side, 119 and 86. Who's going to lift first of these two veterans? They're side by side through the S's. Wow, what commitment from Alan Brooks there, and he holds on to third place. Wheel to wheel action there from our veterans. Alan, we had in the studio earlier, showing his little boys how it's done into the S's. 
great stuff. And Mark Evans isn't too far behind as well. He's had a bit of a topsy-turvy day so far, but here he is in fifth place. Sixth place as well. Keep an eye out for Craig Willits. Coming around to finish lap two then here at Teesside Autodrome. It's the Gloucestershire Bike Specialist uh, Pit Bike Veterans for BMB 2018. And Martin Cocaine has absolutely flown off the front of the field again. 122.982. He's almost two seconds in the lead already ahead of Richard Rice and Alan Brooks. Jacob, I think we're going to be talking about another win here for Martin. Yes, looks like he's going to be our second. Oh, look at this. Day. But yes, excellent move there from, is that Alan Brooks? Brooks? Yes, back into second place by the looks of things. Richard Rice. Uh, trying to come back at him. It's going to be a drag race down to the S's. Looks like Rice will get it back. And look, coming around the outside as well. I think that's Mark Evans in uh, the, the black leathers with the red number. We go over the inside, goes Brooks and into second place. This is fantastic from Alan Brooks, showing how it's done. Back into second place once again with a daring move up the inside of Richard Rice into hairpin one. Yes, he may not have had the pace down the back straight, but he sure knows how to wrangle that bike through the corners. Can Brooks pull away now? He did a lot of defending. It's round the outside. That's Steve Booth trying to go round the outside of Richard Rice. Will he have the inside? No, Richard Rice closes it off for Herbert Four. This is all good for Brooks, though. He started to pull away in second place. This is epic racing here at Teesside Autodrome by the pit bike veterans. Another fastest lap of the race has just gone in by Martin Cocaine, a 121.620. The lead is now 3.7 seconds in front of this gentleman here, Alan Brooks from Wales, doing everything right at the moment in second place, ahead of Richard Rice in third. Richard Rice looking down, looking for every little opportunity. It's round the outside goes Mark Evans. Mark Evans has got a very quick bike in a straight line, and he goes past Steve Booth into the S's for fourth place. Four laps to go. Actually, more like three and a half by this point. Martin Cocaine leads. Alan Brooks second. Richard Rice third. Steve Brooks has now fallen down to fifth place after losing that position to Mark Evans. Looks like Craig Willits is having a go as well. And I think he's made it. I think he's made the position up. And uh, is that a problem? Did I just see one rider falling down towards the bottom of the field? I think Steve Booth has lost a couple of positions on that last lap. No, hasn't. Just my eyes tricking me. Looks like it's some of the uh, back markers off. Unfortunately, Barry Prue's had some issues out there as well. Uh, he's a lap down already. Uh, two laps down is John Pearson as well. We're not quite sure what happened to those two riders. Fastest lap or PB for Gary Carter, who's just gone in at 125.259. But Jacob, all, all of these veterans just going quicker and quicker and quicker, wanted to have a, a good end to their days. Yes, indeed, Martin Cocaine checking out at the front. Alan Brooks seems to have second lockdown for the moment in time. Rich Rice, Steve Booth and Mark Evans having a glorious battle. And oh, just up the inside goes Booth. Very, very close there. Uh, but uh, respectful racing from these veterans. Yeah, that was very well ridden by, uh, by Mark Evans to, to spot that move. Let's have another look at that. Just up the inside, absolutely scything. Hairpin one is now becoming a hotbed for overtaking manoeuvres. And look at this. Look at this. This is uh, this is Richard Rice and Steve Booth battling again over third place. They are giving each other the width of the bike to race with. It is really, really close stuff. They're reeling in Alan Brooks as well. He did have it. Looked like he had it set in second place, but um, they're close behind him again. 5.5 seconds now the lead for Martin Cocaine uh, out front. Alan Brooks still there in second place. Just hoping that third, fourth and fifth keep fighting because that's all good news for Alan Brooks here as he goes up the far side of the mountain. 
round onto the back straight and towards the S's. But if third, fourth and fifth start working together, they will reel Alan Brooks in. They Saying that indeed. though, look, Mark Evans has just gone past. Mark Evans has got, as I've said it before, he's got a very, very fast bike underneath him out of uh, out of the right-hander at the back side of the mountain. He is very quick alongside that straight. Oh, oh, massive moment for Alan Brooks. What a save. That was a huge save from Alan Brooks and he's retained second place. But a massive snap there for Alan. Wow, I thought he was going to be down there. That showed all of his experience in saving that one. Let's hope he drops that curb back on the way back round. He took most of it with him there. Uh, Richard Rice still there in third. Mark Evans now up to fourth. Let's have another look at this. This is coming through the chicane. And uh, does the bike just get a little bit loose? Oh, yeah, massive, massive jump. It's more like motocross than British mini bikes, but that was a huge save by Alan Brooks. Yeah, that's daylight robbery there. You can't take that much curve and get away with it, although Alan seems to be trying. So this is still your battle for third, fourth and fifth. Richard Rice and Mark Evans. Now look at Mark Evans. We've seen how quick he is along this straight there, side by side. Steve Booth is fighting back. Steve Booth is just a giant man, isn't he? <laughs> he is. Look at him there on that bike. There's your leader. Martin Cocaine, he's now 6.7 seconds clear. This is the last lap now for the Gloucester Bike Specialist Pit Bike Veterans. It's what a day they've that, had. Hasn't it? Martin has checked out, but this battle has been non-stop relentless. But it's going to be Martin Cocaine who's going to make this two out of two. And nobody has touched him all day as the th battle for third place is still raging on. Uh, Martin Cocaine is going to come over the line. He takes the win in Veterans. And Steve Booth has got back into fourth here ahead of Mark Evans. It's going to be, yes, Brooks takes second place. Richard Rice takes a fantastic third. Steve Booth is fourth. Mark Evans in fifth place. Don't worry about Steve Booth there. I think that was a little, another, uh, a little bit of a transponder issue. Uh, but sixth place is going to be Gary Carter, I think. Seventh place for Pete Forsyth, eighth for Andy Williams, ninth for Paul Ward. Well, I'd wait and see if they come through, Andrew. They look to be very close together. Yes, they are indeed. I wouldn't call those just too soon. Through there it comes. Here they all come now. And yep. Yes, just so about. Forsyth from course. Williams, Ward, then Gromit. Good drive, sorry, good ride from Julian Gromit there. Uh, I think that's going to be a top ten once we pop Steve Booth back into fourth place. Jeff Mills, then Steve Allen, Joseph O'Neill, Carl Williamson, Mark Hancock. Uh, Barry Prue had an issue out there that we didn't quite see. Craig Willits also had an issue that we didn't quite see. Howard Taylor and then John Pearson. Well done, veterans. That was some awesome racing. Big hello to my main man from Exeter University, Alistair Mallard. Thank you for tuning in. Hope your dissertation's going well and your preparations for your date with Jasmine are coming along nicely. Now, now.